We went dancing. Class objectives. Describe past daily and free time activities. Describe past vacations. Free time activities. Check social media. Go dancing. Listen to music. Play video games. Read. Relax. Spend time with friends and family. Watch TV. Conversation. What did you do last weekend? Part A. Listen and practice. So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun! Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. So what did you do last weekend, Kara? Oh, I had a great time. My friends and I had pizza on Saturday, and then we all went dancing. How fun! Did you go to the treadmill? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Kara do on Sunday afternoons? So, Kara, what did you do on Sunday? I stayed home in the morning. I just watched TV and read. How about in the afternoon? Oh, I worked. I have a part-time job at the university bookstore. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I'm a cashier there. I work every Sunday from 1 to 6. Grammar Focus. Simple Past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. What did Neil do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. How did Kara spend her weekend? She went to a club and danced with some friends. Regular verbs. Work. Worked. Invite. Invited. Study. Studied. Stop. Stopped. Irregular verbs. Buy, bought, do, did, drive, drove, have, had, go, went, sing, sang, see, saw. Spend, spent. Pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? How did you like the movie?
Listening. Did you have a good holiday? Part A. Listen to Andrew tell Elizabeth what he did yesterday. Check the things Andrew did. So, did you have a good holiday yesterday? Yes. It was nice to have the day off. Did you go to the gym? No, I couldn't. It was closed. They were repairing the machines. Instead, a friend and I played soccer. That's nice. At least you were able to get some exercise. Did you do anything else interesting? Well, I wanted to see the new Matt Damon movie, but I went to the movie theater and it wasn't playing. I hate when that happens. I know. So I went back to my house and watched TV for a while. Did you do anything fun in the evening? I had tickets for last night's baseball game, but it was canceled because of the rain. So I went to my parents' house and spent the evening with them instead. My mother baked an awesome chocolate cake. Oh, I love chocolate cake. I know. That's why I brought you a piece. Here. Enjoy. Thanks, Andrew. Part B. Listen again. Look at the activities Andrew didn't do. Why didn't he do them? Write the reason. So, did you have a good holiday yesterday? Yes. It was nice to have the day off. Did you go to the gym? No, I couldn't. It was closed. They were repairing the machines. Instead, a friend and I played soccer. That's nice. At least you were able to get some exercise. Did you do anything else interesting? Well, I wanted to see the new Matt Damon movie, but I went to the movie theater and it wasn't playing. I hate when that happens. I know. So I went back to my house and watched TV for a while. Did you do anything fun in the evening? I had tickets for last night's baseball game but it was canceled because of the rain. So I went to my parents' house and spent the evening with them instead. My mother baked an awesome chocolate cake. Oh, I love chocolate cake. I know. That's why I brought you a piece. Here, enjoy. Thanks, Andrew. Conversation. Lucky you. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Hi, Cody. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to California with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Cool. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was pretty cloudy. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? So tell me, what happened? Well, like I said, I went surfing every day. One day, I entered a contest, and I won. I got first prize. Wow, congratulations. But that's not all. Someone made a video of me surfing and posted it online. Do you want to see it? Sure. Grammar focus. Past of B. Were you in California? Yes, I was. 
Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Listening. I was on vacation. Part A. Listen to Daniel and Amanda talk about their vacations. Did they have a good time? Check yes or no. Daniel, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. I went sightseeing, and she loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Part B. Listen again. Complete the chart with information about their vacations. Daniel, hi, welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. I went sightseeing, and she loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Awesome Vacations Marco TNZ Mountains I came to this awesome place three days ago. These are the Tianzi Mountains, in Hunan Province, China. The mountains cover 67 square kilometers, and they are named for a famous farmer who lived in the area. I took a cable car up to the mountains. The ride was about six minutes long. The views are breathtaking. The mountains look almost like they are man-made. Sadly, my trip is almost over, and I have to go home. But I want to come back soon. Letitia. Desert Breath. Guys, look at this. This is in the desert near Hergada, Egypt. I was just there with my friend Carla. Desert Breath is a piece of land art made by three people in the 90s. An artist, an architect, and an engineer. It's made of sand, and it covers a large area of the Sahara Desert, 100,000 square meters or about 25 acres. Every year, some of the art disappears. The wind moves the sand away. For now, it's so large that satellites in space take photos of it. How cool is that? Kelly. Giant Salt Lake. I flew from La Paz to Uni to see this spectacular place. I took so many pictures. 
It's called Sala de Uni, and it's in beautiful Bolivia. It was part of a giant salt lake in prehistoric times. I went there in a group with a guide. You have to walk a lot, so you need to be in pretty good shape. We walked for a whole day. Sometimes you feel like you're walking on clouds. When I saw the lake, it looked like a giant mirror. I'll never forget it. <laughs>